I see a lot of people on social media of late expressing the hope, maybe in some cases the expectation, that as, as things tighten up in the Senate with that 50-50 tie, that Joe Manchin may be the savior of people who have you know, relatively conservative views. That Joe Manchin of West Virginia is going to step up. I haven't bought it from the beginning. I don't buy it now. And that's why I want to share with you a joke, a Joe Manchin joke, that I think epitomizes the situation that we're in. This was originally a joke. <laughs> it was an Iranian joke. So, but I've had to change it for an American audience. Anyway, here goes. Something's happening in the United States. This is a domestic problem, and it needs to be addressed quickly. And President Biden has asked the Senate to take the lead on this. So the Senate's brought a committee together, a bipartisan committee, and they're trying to work something out. And on the committee, you have Chuck Schumer on the left. you got Ted Cruz on the right and Joe Manchin and a bunch of other senators. But those are the three who are leading uh, from the Republican side, the Democrat side, and you know Chuck Schumer being the leader of the Senate in the middle, taking uh, the head role here. They have the meeting, they conclude their business, and now they need to drive to the White House to meet with President Biden. They had all planned to drive separately. So there's basically three cars ready for them. But at the last second, Schumer, realizes that this is bad optics. If you have three senators going to the White House, why don't they all go in one car? Now, if they had known that before, they would have got the big stretch limo, but they just have the little limos. But they all decide it's, it'll look better if we go in one car. So we all pile into the back of the limo. So you've got Schumer on the left, you got Cruz on the right, and sitting in between them, squeezed in in the middle, is Joe Manchin. And off they go toward the White House with a relatively new driver who's still learning, but he's got his GPS and everything. Unfortunately, there's a BLM march along the route they would usually follow, and they have to detour. So the driver goes down the detour direction, and boom, they run into an Antifa demonstration. And at this point, he's really confused because he's not sure where to go. And the GPS isn't giving him a lot of options. It's giving him too many options and asking him to choose. And he's not familiar with the side streets. So he makes, he turns to the senators and he tells them, hey, I'm, I'm pretty new here. I'm not sure where to go. So I mean, I got a little problem here. Meanwhile, he's coming up and he sees he's at a T intersection. He can't go straight anymore. He has to go left or right. And he doesn't know which way to go. So he asks for help. So, so Ted Cruz says, turn right. Chuck Schumer says, no, 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 no. Turn left. So now the driver's very confused. He doesn't know, should he turn left? Should he turn right? Has the decision of which way he turns been politicized? If he turns left, is Cruz going to try to get him fired? If he turns right, will Schumer try to get him fired? So he's really at a loss. So he looks up into the rearview mirror, and his eyes meet the man in the back seat, who's Joe Manchin. And their 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 eyes connect, and they have this connection. And and suddenly, you know, Manchin understands that the driver's in a panic, and he's getting close to the intersection. He has to make a decision really fast, and he doesn't know what to do. And Joe Manchin says, "Signal right." turn left. <laughs>